profile as well. I promised you uh, this video quite a, quite some time now, and I wanted to to wear it um, a couple of times and see what it was all about before I did this review. Now I have been using it quite a bit now the last couple of months, as you can tell from my bottle. It's been used um, quite a bit. That's also because the sprayer on this bottle is awesome. It uh, it reminds me about the uh, Dior bottles, for instance. They, they also have um, very decent sprayers, and so does this. This scent, guys, oh my god. This is amazing. It smells just like people describe it. You get that fresh uh, bergamot opening combined with some uh, fruity notes uh, like the black currant and the pineapple. Um, now, honestly, guys, these uh, fruity notes, they could have been anything really. They are just blended to perfection. Um, so you get a, a fresh yet fruity semi-sweet opening and then drying down to that beautiful ashy uh, note what people can uh, compare it to. Now I wouldn't say it smells like um, uh, burned cigarettes or incense or uh, yeah woods or whatever. This is um, it's let's call it it's a little dark. Um, it's not ashy to me. Uh, I don't really know how to put this but Indeed, there is something different in the dry down that makes this fragrance all the more interesting because if it wouldn't have this quality, it would just be any other run in the mall fresh scent like, for instance, Aqua Digio. And uh, this makes it, um, to me, uh, worth its price tag. Now, that's another thing I want to address. Uh, people are bashing the Creed fragrances like crazy, saying they don't last and they have batch is issues and performance problems. Now, all I can say is I've tried a couple of batches um, with this fragrance and it's, um, it's all blown out of proportions to me personally. Now, the, um, there are small, very small, small changes in terms of smell. But that might even be due to the fact that you get different um, uh, different bottles in terms of when they were made. Like some fragrances deteriorate uh, faster than others or are stored on a different places, you know. So there will always be uh, a little uh, difference between, between bottles. I don't really believe there's too much of change in terms of batches. As far as I've smelled, they are all great and they all perform uh, excellent. This is a fragrance uh, in particular which gives you olfactory fatigue. And that's a, it's sad, you know, because you want a fragrance to smell all day. And this does, but not always to you. Uh, people will smell this on you, but your nose will get used to it after a couple of hours. Um, now some things uh, there's some things you can do uh, to help uh, to help it and that's like uh, going going outside for a while getting a fresh nose uh, running down the stairs a couple of times you know that's that that you and awaken your senses or your senses of smell are re refreshed you know because your your nose is getting used to this and uh, that's a normal thing you know so that's the thing. That's the thing I wanted to address. That uh, batch uh, batch variation is blown out of proportion. It's all too much of a hype to me personally. It's a great fragrance. Whatever bottle you get, don't pay twice or triple as much for this fragrance. If it is the Z01 uh, bottle from 2010 or 2011, whatever, guys, please don't do that. Just go check it out. And just um, just buy it uh, retail or online. Buy a new bottle. You won't be disappointed. I promise. Final words on this fragrance, guys. You might ask yourself, why is he wearing that stupid football shirt? That's because I wanted to show you how I feel with this one. I can wear this to the gym, which I'm about to do now. I can wear this to the restaurant. I can wear this to work. I can wear this to a special event. 
This is my Mr. Versatile in my collection. It is not my best scent in my collection. It is not the most complex scent in my collection. As of now, today, this would be um, my uh, Sergio of More Than Words bottle. But this is my Mr. Versatile. This is the most easy wearable fragrance I own as of now. And that is why I chose to wear something casual. Now, um, that's mostly it, guys. This is worth its price tag to me. It is worth the hype. Although, don't believe the batch uh, issues. Just try it out, see if you like it, and then go for a new bottle. Um, thank you for watching, guys. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Thank you very much for watching, and see you next time. Bye-bye.